Now I'm going to start talking about the Atkins diet, but before you click off my video and stop watching because you think this is a clickbait title, hear me out until the end. If there's a lot of truth to my title, then you know. Kim Kardashian is slowly killing herself and she's taking other people down with her by following the Atkins diet and promoting the Atkins diet. There is a huge study done by researchers from Harvard using 100,000 people and they found that low carb diets like the Atkins diet and diets that emphasize animal sources of fat and protein were associated with higher all-cause mortality, cardiovascular, and cancer mortality. It has been scientifically proven that men and women live significantly shorter lives, have more heart attacks, and have more cancer deaths following a low carb diet. Sure, you might lose weight and that might be worth it for some people, but what's the point of risking your life for weight loss that isn't even sustainable? I will bet all my money that Kim Kardashian will gain her weight back, if not more. I know many people who have been on the Atkins diet. I myself have been on the Atkins diet, so I know firsthand that it is not sustainable. And everybody that I know that has been on this diet has gone off and has gained all of their weight back plus more. And I did the exact same thing. If you can't be on a diet for life, you shouldn't be on that diet. Just take a look at all of the people who promote low carb diets. Don't take weight loss advice from people who are overweight. Clearly, their solution isn't working. If their diets worked, don't you think they would be following it and that it would be working on them? Take a look at people promoting high carb diets. It's completely normal that this is the case because we need carbs to thrive. Our brains run exclusively off glucose. It's our body's primary and preferred fuel source. If you take away a car's fuel, it's not gonna run properly. So of course you're gonna fall off the wagon, of course you're gonna crave high calorically dense foods, of course you're gonna have headaches. It's your body telling you that it needs carbs, that it needs its fuel. And if you've been on the Atkins diet, or if you are on the Atkins diet, leave in the comment section below. Were you or were you not constipated? I remember when I was on the Atkins diet, I took like four Metamucils a day and I still wouldn't go to the bathroom. And when I did go to the bathroom, my shit looked like this. It was horrible. This diet is not made for our bodies. So this study also concluded that a low carbohydrate diet based on animal products was associated with higher all-cause mortality in both men and women, whereas a vegetable low carbohydrate diet was associated with lower all-cause mortality and cardiovascular disease mortality rates. So the real issue here isn't the ratio of carbs and proteins and fats, but rather the source of the carbs and proteins and fats, and whether they're coming from plants or animal products. So if you want to be on a low carb diet, aka low energy, low life diet, then you're way better off without the animal products unless you're into hurting yourself. So although low-carb plant-based diets are way more safe than low-carb animal-based diets, I still wouldn't recommend limiting your calories and limiting your carbohydrates if you want sustainable weight loss. Carbs get such a bad rep for making you fat because of diets like the Atkins diet and people promoting them like Kim Kardashian. And the truth is, it's not the carbs that make you fat. It's the animal products. It's the fat that we add to the carbs that make you fat. I have been up and down with my weight for as long as I can remember. I was 160 pounds. I'm 5'3", and now I'm 125 pounds. I'm the healthiest, the happiest, the fittest. Have the most energy, have no more acne. It's just unbelievable, life-changing. And I've gotten to where I am now by eating as many carbs as I want. I just got rid of the animal products, got rid of the high fatty foods, and 
I'm no longer restricting. I'm no longer up and down with my weight. And this is the reason why this channel exists. One of the big reasons for why this channel exists is because this information needs to get out there. And I'm so passionate about it because I've been there. I've been where most people are struggling with their weight, up and down with their weight, cutting carbs out of their diet, cutting life out of their diet so that they can lose weight just to gain it back again. And it needs to stop. It needs, it, like everyone needs to know this. So I'm going to leave some resources and some links in the description down below. I'm also going to leave some books that I recommend reading. These are not books that I'm sponsored by. These are books that simply pretty much saved my life. And everybody needs to have access to this information. So I'm going to link them in the description below. I'm going to have their links to Amazon or eBay or wherever I can find them so that you can order them and so that you can start reading and so that you can save yourself and you know hopefully pass it on so thank you so much for watching don't forget to make your day wonderful i will see you soon share this video with kim give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you again and i will talk to you later say that there's a big difference between paparazzis and spreading rumors about celebrities than what I'm about to do in this video. Our channel isn't a gossip channel, it's a channel dedicated to spreading and educating people 